Composing gloves here. Today we're checking out a new oscilloscope by The Him. It's called Sub Ninja and it is free for the month of February if you use the code Composing Gloves and all capital. There'll be a link to it down in the description uh, along with the code if you'd like to just copy and paste it. And you can follow along uh, if you're watching this after the month of February 2024, there it, it will just work as a 10% discount. So uh, check that out. And without further ado, let's dive into the scope itself. So first, let's just see it in action. It is a scope that syncs up. It's got a really nice window uh, where as you hit play, it updates over time and the window is really big. So it's easy to see chunks of your music. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down in post here so that I can just see, um, you know, while we're doing it, you can sort of see it work. Besides that, you could change the length. So if 16 is too much, you can come down to maybe a smaller value. It could be more your speed, just depends. Uh, there is a zoom feature here that allows you to scale the waveform. So we can, we can scale it down or scale it up if the audio is very soft. That is super nice. And I wish way more scopes had this and they don't. Uh, so this is great. There is a low pass frequency filter. A low pass frequency filter. There's a low pass filter. So all this does is, um, let me go ahead and pause it just so it's not moving. Um, as we move this filter around, it'll change, you know, it'll obviously filter the input, um, but we have to choose to use this filter. So there's these options called sub, which I might argue might be better called like low pass enable or something, I don't know. Um, but sub, you can click yes, and now we can see just the low end. And this brings up, you know, kind of what the oscilloscope is best at. The oscilloscope is best at showing you time domain information. Uh, we typically don't think of frequency information at the same time in the same sentence as an oscilloscope because it's kind of hard to see uh, frequency information in an oscilloscope because it's all tied up in all these little wiggles, right? There's one other scope that is worth mentioning here. That's a vector scope, which will tell you about your stereo image. While on an oscilloscope, it'll simply look as, you know, a difference in levels. So if one is higher than another, that means we have some kind of a stereo image. And if we notice a phase offset that's constant, that could be like a bad thing. You, you can notice those things in scopes, but generally you'd use a vector scope because it'll tell you exactly how the phase is and you'd use a spectrogram for the frequencies, but here we can see how things overlap over time. Um, we can see our transients and how they hit, if they line up, things like that. And that's why including this in there, and you could do this with other scopes by setting up just a filter before your scope, uh, but including it in here just makes it way easier. Like you're a lot more likely to do it now. Um, and we could just sort of see how things are lining up. And to take it a step further, because sometimes you look at this, um, you might notice that parts of it are actually lit up. So there's a warn feature over here. And if we lower it, it'll let us know, or um, lower it, let's, let's raise it. Um, the more this is there, that means that, hey, this stuff is loud and it is underneath the frequency you set. So for example, say we set it at like 40. Let's say that we have our kick drum, we want our kick drum to really hit above a certain thing. Everything below this, we really want just gone. Um, I personally like to set it around 35 or, or 30, because sometimes, depending on the key signature you're working in, sometimes I'll have things as low as 32, which is pretty ridiculous, but sometimes a thump of the kick might live down there. Um, it's usually a bit higher, but it's, it's in this neighborhood. So you're gonna be 40, 35, 30, depending on what you're doing. So if we set it for 30, if anything lights up under 30, that's just bad news. And normally you'll, you'll just filter this out well, with an EQ, uh, but this will sort of give you a visual indicator that something's going on. If we hit play, we can see if any of it pops up. And let's go, let's raise it up to like, I find it easier to just double click and tap, type uh, 40. So we can see we've got some action at 40, not too much, probably not gonna be that much of an issue. The sync here is just to sync up with when you hit play on your transport. Um, if we hit play, it'll still sync up, but if we like stop it, it'll continue running. Uh, so, and this is useful if you're playing something in live and you just want the scope running in the background, pretty handy. And then you have your sources. So your sources, you've got the left channel, the right channel, 
and the mid channel and the side channel. So you can see mid side information here. Here's our mid information. Here's our side information. And if we take off the sub option, we can sort of see our stereo image in a way. Uh, we can see what's coming down the mid, what's coming down the side. And this could be a cool way to just sort of visually check it out. I, I don't know of any takeaways I'd really have for this other than it's another cool display and I'm an oscilloscope junkie who just likes watching the squiggly lines move. Uh, you can use uh, control plus mouse wheel to, oh, I have it scrolling the wrong way. And then you can hold alt to, to move along. So that's Sub Ninja in a nutshell. Uh, there are a couple more controls if you come over here. There's a second zoom control. I really think this should be, one of them should be changed because one of these has to do with the zoom level of stuff like this one. And the other one has to do with the actual size of the plugin. So I, I don't know, maybe a resize or, or something, GUI size. I don't know. I, I just think there definitely shouldn't be two things named zoom. Um, and then there's a couple other neat things in here that you could check out. Uh, the one that I'm just going to turn on real quick here, because I, I haven't looked into what these do, um, is the auto dim controls. So that just means when you leave off, it'll visually dim them. If we have this off, when I leave, they stay on. So you're probably going to want this on just because it's a better indication that, you know, you're not actively working in this window. But anyways, that's it. Uh, really cool. I think the brand is on point. Uh, this is... Uh, his first plugin, and it's it's pretty, it's a banger. Um, it is a Juice plugin, and there's nothing, I don't have anything against Juice, but there are a couple, like, just giveaways that it's Juice. Uh, the biggest one, just right off the bat, is this resize icon is on, like, everything Juice related. So if you want to customize that down the line, um, that could really make it feel... Uh, very different because a lot of plugins share this. I'm going to start making some juice plugins. I'll probably go with these as my first ones too. Uh, and the menus, these are all very juice looking. Um, but other than that, like, and that, that's like, that's, that's not really a criticism other than if you really want to take the plugin to another level, uh, that's probably where I'd look. Um, and this, I have one other thing that's probably more concerning to me is um, there's quite a bit of this visual uh stuff going on like that i'm not sure how to solve that but um yeah it definitely has a sort of frame drop frame frame frozen i'm not sure what to call it the the display works fine like when it updates it updates really smoothly so i'm not really sure what that is but it would be cool in future releases to see it get worked out so it's really smooth when you move it around or, or resize it um, but those are those are super small. I've, I've not had it crash once on me. Uh, it works great. I love that it's got a workflow focused vibe to it. And, you know, it just does the job. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know uh, down in the comments. Go grab this thing while you can, while it's still free. Um, incredible option. And I even paid. It's really reasonably priced. I think it's under $30 when I looked. Uh, but yeah, check it out. Subscribe to that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.